Labradoodles combine two of the most popular dog breeds into one adorable package. Labradoodles are one of the greatest dog breeds for families because they are affectionate, cuddly, and energetic. However, Labradoodles are much more than their cute appearance. If you're considering bringing a Labradoodle into your home, there are a few things you should know about the breed. In this video, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about these adorable furballs. Let's get right to it. Here are a few facts you'll want to know first. Labradoodle first skyrocketed to fame in the 80s. The Labradoodle rose to prominence in 1988, when an Australian breeder successfully crossed a Labrador Retriever and Standard Poodle to develop a guiding dog for the blind that might also appeal to individuals allergic to fur and dander. The breed quickly gained favor among American breeders due to its calm guide dog personality and hypoallergenic qualities. Labradoodles aren't all hypoallergenic. Labradoodles are frequently marketed as hypoallergenic dogs. Despite the fact that Labradoodles are less likely to produce allergies than other breeds, not all of them are entirely hypoallergenic. Labradoodles come in a variety of coats, each with its own set of allergies. Many Labradoodles, like Labs, will begin to shed more near the end of spring to prepare for the summer heat. Even though this shedding isn't quite as awful as what you'll experience if you have a Lab, you should expect to tidy up the house a little more as summer approaches. Labradoodles come in different colors. The Labradoodle is available in many different colors. Gold, apricot, caramel, chalk, black, crimson, cafe, cream, silver, chocolate, parchment, and blue are some of them. They can also have multicolored coats such as brindles, phantom, patched, or sable. Labradoodles don't need to be bathed very often. Grooming varies depending on the dog's coat length and type. Brushing a Labradoodle should be done once or twice a week narrowly. Some can have their coats clipped or trimmed every six to eight weeks to make grooming easier. Bathing a Labradoodle should be done only when absolutely essential, which isn't often because many of the coats don't have a detectable doggy smell. Labradoodles, like Labs, are susceptible to ear infections, so give them additional attention. After bathing Labradoodles, dry and clean them, and inspect them once a week for dirt, redness, or an odor that could suggest an infection. To avoid issues, wipe them out once a week with a cotton ball moistened in a moderate, pH-balanced ear cleanser. Labradoodles are available in different sizes. When people think of Labradoodles, they usually think of small dogs. Although you can find little Labradoodles, the breed comes in a wide range of sizes. It's all about the parent breeds with Labradoodles or at least the size of the poodle employed in the first batch of crossbreed. This is because poodles are available in three sizes, miniature, medium, and standard. If you're searching for a specific size, make a point of visiting the breeder and discussing your requirements in detail. No ethical breeder will guarantee that their Labradoodle puppies will grow to be the exact size they are supposed to be. They can, however, provide information about the physical backgrounds of the parents, which might lead you in the appropriate route. Labradoodles of all sizes have a similar temperament and behavior. However, keep in mind that they are high-energy, active dogs who, when fully grown, can be a handful. If you get a standard Labradoodle, you'll need at least a small enclosed yard for them to run around in. If you don't have much space, a smaller Labradoodle would be a better choice. Labradoodles are smart and friendly. Labradoodles are known for being active, intelligent, and friendly dogs. They thrive in social settings where they may interact with people and other animals. They are also huge soft fur balls that enjoy hugging and cuddling with their owners. What makes Labradoodles such wonderful pets? It's thanks to their parents, Labrador Retrievers and Poodles, two of the smartest and kindest canine breeds. Labradoodles combine the best qualities of both Labradors and Poodles into one lovable package. Labrador Retrievers are the most popular dog breed in the United States, valued for their outgoing, friendly personalities and high energy levels. 
they are the ideal family dog, developing close relationships with the people in their lives. Poodles are also intelligent and lively canines, similar to Labrador Retrievers. Labradoodles aren't the same as Golden Doodles. Because Labradoodles and Golden Doodles are both half poodles, they have a lot in common. Although they may share many characteristics, these two breeds are not the same. The Labradoodle is the offspring of a Labrador Retriever and Poodle. On the other hand, the Golden Doodle is the offspring of a Golden Retriever and Poodle. Labradoodles have a shorter coat and Golden Doodles inherited the Golden Retriever's longer, shaggier coat. Both dogs are sociable, but Golden Doodles are more outgoing and won't hesitate to approach people, whilst Labradoodles can be reserved and need time to warm up to strangers. Regardless of their differences, both are outstanding dog breeds that would make a wonderful addition to any family. When it comes down to it, the only difference between the two is their appearance, so choose the one you prefer. Apart from Golden Doodles, Australian Labradoodles and Schnoodles are two other more common poodle mixes that are nearly the same as Labradoodles. Labradoodles are exercise-loving dogs who'll keep you active. Because Labradoodles are half Labrador, they have a lot of stored energy. If you don't exercise your Labradoodle for at least 30 to 60 minutes every day, and much more if they are young, you should expect destructive behavior. They enjoy running and playing, which makes them excellent workout companions, and even enjoy jogging with you while you ride your bike. Labradoodles require a lot of space since they enjoy running around. If you don't have a yard, make sure they have access to one. That implies cramped quarters and long periods in a crate are not conducive to this personality and nature. Swimming is a passion that Labradoodles have inherited from labs. Nothing makes them happier than a swim in a pool or lake. Simply make sure to dry their coat after swimming to avoid it stinking. When meeting with youngsters or other canines, incorporate some early socialization to help stop negative tendencies and manage over exuberance. Labradoodles can live many years. Labradoodles can live for up to 14 years and are cheerful, healthy dog breeds in general. However, Labradoodles are prone to some health issues. As crossbreeds, they are more prone to health problems than Labradors or Poodles. Here are some things to keep an eye out for. Ear infections, Labradoodles have large, floppy ears that can collect dirt and moisture, causing infections. To avoid infections, clean your dog's ears regularly. Hip dysplasia, Labradoodles, like other crossbreeds, are more prone to hip problems, such as hip dysplasia, an unusual formation of the hip socket that causes arthritis and disability. Hip dysplasia can make it difficult to move and, in the long run, may lead to disability. Epilepsy, epilepsy, or seizures caused by unexplained causes, is still uncommon in Labradoodles, however, it is seen more frequently than in other breeds. Diabetes, Labradoodles, like labs, can quickly gain weight if overfed, putting them at risk for diabetes. Hypothyroidism, when the immune system attacks the thyroid, it is known as hypothyroidism. Labradoodles are slightly more prone to it than other breeds. When it comes to feeding them, Labradoodles have similar dietary needs to other dogs, although the amount of food required varies depending on the dog's size. In general, you should avoid continuously feeding a Labradoodle throughout the day. This is because there is a slightly higher risk of gastric torsion, a condition in which the stomach rotates within the abdominal cavity. Labradoodles can be a bit rebellious. Labradoodles are amiable, social dogs who get along well with kids. However, they can be a bit rebellious and a little strong-willed at times. This is most likely due to their poodle ancestry. Make sure you train your Labradoodle while they are still young to deal with any behavioral concerns. This can help you build a deep bond with them and make it easier for you to gain their attention when they are acting up. Consider enrolling your dog in an obedience class. This will help them learn basic commands and proper social behavior. Have Labradoodles piqued your interest? If you're set on getting Labradoodles, it wouldn't come as a surprise. They are wonderful dogs who are both warm and affectionate. 
they'll bring so much joy to any home. However, make sure to stay away from puppy mills and backyard breeders. Puppy mills and backyard breeders are mainly concerned with generating a profit, not with the health of their puppies. They frequently rear their labradoodles in small spaces with limited access to sunlight and food. If you're thinking about getting a labradoodle, make sure you conduct a lot of research on the breeder or look for reputable breeders on websites like Alpha Match and try to visit the breeder if you can. Remember that a labradoodle from a reputable breeder will be more expensive than one from a puppy mill. However, the savings aren't worth it if it means putting a puppy's health at risk.